Now I talk a lot about using fruits and vegetables for your skin and hair, so I wanted to show you a really easy way to process these to make them more convenient for storage. As we know, fresh produce doesn't last for very long, that's one of the great things about it, but it's not very convenient. So putting these fruits and vegetables into powdered form makes them much more storable and convenient for using whenever you need them. Obviously fresh is ideal, but fresh is not always realistic. There are lots of different ways that you can dehydrate fruits and vegetables. It depends a lot on how hard they are and their water content. So we want to break the fruits and vegetables down into the smallest pieces that we can before we dehydrate them. That way they'll be really easy to process and grind down into a fine powder. I prefer to use a coffee grinder to make my powders. I think I get the finest powder that way. But you can use a food processor or a blender if that's what you have. Now if you don't have a dehydrator, you can definitely try this technique in your oven. You just want to put it on the lowest setting, ideally below 180 if your oven will go that low, and prop the door open if you can to let some of the moisture and heat out. You want to make sure that you're not actually cooking the fruits and vegetables, you're just taking out the water. I will put some suggestions below on different fruits and vegetables and ways that they can be used. There are lots of different ways that you can use these fruit and vegetable powders, from masks and spot treatments to hair rinses. There are actually lots of fruits and vegetables and even herbs that are great for thinning hair and dry scalp, so keep that in mind, not just for your skin. You can mix these fruit and vegetable powders with different varieties of clays depending on your skin type, or if you just want a quick facial treatment, you can mix it with water, juice, milk, 